everyone, it's Miranda Lee and welcome back to my Halloween extravaganza. Today we are going to be talking about and going to explore the Weatherly Cemetery. Supposedly this place is very, very haunted. Not only are we going there, we are also going to be going to the Stone Chair, which is very close to the Weatherly Cemetery, also said to be haunted. So we're going to go and explore those places, but before we do so, I'm going to give you a little bit of background and try to explain it as best as I can. And if I don't, then I'll put some links down below to show you where I got all my information from. The cemetery belonged to St. Joseph's Catholic Church until 1875, and after that, they, the people of the church moved. They didn't worship their religion in that church anymore. They went and they moved a church and built a new one and left basically that cemetery and the church to sit there and rot. After a while, people started reporting paranormal activity. This was probably in the early 1900s, around there, after the people, or after they moved. During that time, supposedly, with along with the paranormal activity, witches would gather there and hold seances and all that. And supposedly there was cannibalism that was held there too. Now, I don't think any of that still goes on today. I don't know. In 1966, the church burned to the ground, supposedly by arson. After that, people started speculating that's what made spirits unrestless because their church was burned down and they were buried there and they were just left with no one to take care of them. I'm going to talk a little bit about who are buried there now. Some of the people that were buried there included miners from the nearby Eckley Miners Village when that was still running. Of course, it is no longer running now. It's just for tours. Some people also say that the Molly Maguires have been buried there. And if you don't know who they are, they're some sort of labor organization that came from Ireland, but they migrated to America. But they held a lot of riots and a lot of different things. Some people consider them terrorists. So supposedly some of them are buried at this cemetery. Now we're going to get into some of the things that people have seen or experienced while they're there. The sounds of children laughing and singing. Ever-present mysterious shadows. Glowing red eyes of an Indian often seen at the tree line. Deceased children hanging from lampposts. A white horse running through the area. A ghost car that can be seen driving by from time to time. And there have also been reports of people having mechanical difficulties with their cars when they go to leave the cemetery. And I'm just going to cover the stone couch and then I can put all that together. So this stone couch is another haunted location. It is not far from the Eckley Miners Village at all. This particular couch has many different stories. Nobody really knows which one's the right one. One of the stories is about an Indian woman who was carrying her child and she stopped to feed her child on this rock. And when she put the child down and went to get the food, when she turned back, the child was dead. And she cursed the rock. The child died. Whoever lies down or sits on this particular rock couch will meet tragedy. So tragedy could include pretty much anything. What I've heard is that when you sit on it the first time, you get a scratch. Then on it the second time, someone in your family dies. And then when you sit on it the third time, you die. I don't know how true any of this is. This could all just be fake. I don't really know. The end of the story is one of the main stories that you will hear about it. There's also like two more about a guy and his family going. The family stopped to rest there and basically they were all attacked by coyotes and killed. I don't remember the other story off hand. That one included one lone guy either built it or took a rest there. I'm not quite sure but supposedly that person's spirit wanders around the mountain. So now I think we know enough information now it's time to go there. This is quite the video, I know. But we are at the um, Weatherly Cemetery. And it's supposed to be creepy. I don't know. Supposedly it's really haunted, so we're here checking it out. There's a bird. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. There was other people here. Um, okay. Well, we're just going to check this place out and see if we can see anything. If you guys hear anything or see anything in the camera... If I don't catch it, let me know in the comments because I don't know. <laughs> Never done anything like this before.
it's crazy because I feel like I feel like this weird pressure on my chest like Shane gets you know when he's in like a haunted place I also feel like something's gripping on my back but that's probably just me being me and not really anything else <laughs> me being ridiculous these are old <laughs> these are all old great luck this is a big monument right here I could probably climb that tree just saying this big monument here Like a lot of them are falling over, like, like this one is in the ground. <laughs> oh boy. Super creepy. There's like tombstones in the grass. Oh my god. Look at all of these. I think we're just gonna head to the, um, what's it called? Hello! <laughs> we're gonna probably go to see the uh, chair. And then, yeah, that'll be it. But this place is very spooky, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so now I'm here at the infamous stone couch, supposedly, and I have to cross the street, so, um, it's a point function. Okay. Okay, Baba gave me her rosaries again. Don't ask why. And now, <laughs> you having fun there. Oh my goodness, this is, this is the stone couch. The people of there's a car. Oh my god. This is a stone couch. The people have said scary things about and supposedly there's like a ghost that wanders back here. I don't think we're gonna see that. But I just wanna like look at it's so freaking creepy. Like some say oh my god, wait, what is that? Like um um what is that? <laughs> Is that blood? Like, what is that? I was told not to sit on it, but I don't know what that is. Like, that looks like blood, honey. Okay, I'm gonna take pictures, and then I'm gonna have to go. I'm back! I'm ba it's actually a day later. Shh, don't tell no one. I'm back from the cemetery, and it wasn't that creepy. I reviewed the footage. I didn't find anything. If you guys hear something, let me know, because I don't know. I didn't find anything. I didn't think it was too creepy because I think we went during that and the people we met there I guess go there a lot and they I remember they told me not to go up there when I'm like I want to take friends and go up there because <laughs> I'm crazy let me know what you guys think how haunted these two places are I know I didn't get a lot of footage of the stone couch but that's because like I couldn't because we were on the side of a road I mean like maybe next time because I do want to go back and I do want to do a full type of investigation type of thing and I want to go like near nighttime because it's probably creepier than it. all the spirits are active at nighttime. I did my research. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far and I hope you're enjoying my Halloween series. I love you all. Bye.